Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Comic Book Campaign. My name's Andrew. And I'm Brett. Thank you so much for joining us. We were on a little hiatus again. It was much, much longer hiatus. It was. The last video we did was about Watchmen, before Watchmen even showed up on HBO. Yeah, we were, uh, we were reading several uh, editions of the Before Watchmen series, and um, we actually got a shout-out from oh. uh, a new subscriber. His name is uh, Fred Ward, and we wanted to give a shout-out back to him, saying that I uh, really appreciated your very kind comment, saying that yeah. uh, we should do more videos, and that he he enjoyed uh, what we did, which is uh, really strange to us, considering <laughs> that our, our prediction of how the show would go was mm. way off. Way off, but the show was really good. It, it, it was, was it great. It was amazing. It was yes. amazing. It's, everyone should watch that show. Um, so what Rhett and I do, if you're new to the channel, is we are comic noobs. Uh, we decide on a comic book to read. We usually read the first five or six issues, usually the first trade. Um, get back together, talk about it here on the show, and then give our suggestion if you guys should check it out or why or why not, uh, or why we didn't like it, and maybe reasons that you should check it out or not. Right. Um, so, Rhett, you actually chose this. I'm teasing it a little bit. Yeah. It's got a little teaser. Right. Um, you chose it. What was it? It's Royal City by um, one of my favorite comic book writers uh, that I'm that we're reading these days uh, by Jeff Lemire. Yeah, really enjoyed. He actually wrote it and he did all of the artwork for it. Yes, he's both a writer and an artist. You could say Renaissance Man. Uh, absolutely. Could you? Yeah, yeah, I would say Renaissance Man. That's good. okay. I wouldn't. You wouldn't, even though I brought it up. Yeah, well, you're an idiot. I'm trying to bring, trying to bring the comedy back uh, <laughs> to the uh, to the channel. So we read it. Um, so the Royal City is actually only three trades. Um, we read the first trade. Um, I would describe it as family. Um, this is a story that if you're super depressed and you read it, you're gonna stay super depressed. And if you're happy and read it, you're gonna get a little depressed because it's gonna bring back some family stuff. Uh, Andrew has been rehearsing that joke, and uh, we've redone this video like four different yeah. times. How so, did it go? How did it go this time? Uh, I would say you you nailed it again. It was pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. Little curb. I have not seen the new curb oh, season. It's amazing. Gotta get back on topic. Royal City. Right. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So we read the first trade. Um, the trade is about family. It's about trauma. Yeah. Uh, it is not lighthearted. It's about one specific family who lives in uh, the city called Royal City, city. which uh, describe is, the city. Is it? It's very happy and. Uh, d d you would describe it if it was in America, um, a uh, Detroit, a Detroit, or <laughs> a, a, or Flint, Michigan, which yeah. um, a. Well, it's like a, it's a, it's it's a city that is definitely hurting. Um, yes. With the transition from an old industrial town. It's a warehouse town where everybody works in the mm -hmm. factories and uh, the factory is not doing too well. And yeah. so the town is not doing too well. And mm -hmm. it's uh, especially this one particular family, it's mm -hmm. affecting everybody. Yeah. So there's an event that happens in the beginning. I thought the main character was going to be the dad when I first started reading it. Uh, something happens to the dad that kind of brings all the siblings together back into the city, and then the story kinds of kind of unfolds from there. I don't want to ruin uh, the kind of hook from the story, but it is very interesting. Um, yes, and um, I we can't uh, leave this video without mentioning the the main character of the story is his name is Tommy. And in this first trade paperback, you get a, a lifeline of uh, th this character. Um, each family member uh, is... Um, Viewing Tommy in a certain in, light. Right, exactly. Right. In, in a certain light and a certain time period um, of, of his current mm -hmm. life. Which I think is... The main part of how the story's discussion can continue. I think that aspect of it 
is what kind of brought me back and thinking about the comic even after I finished it to go back and go, okay, let's let me analyze more how each um, family member thought of Tommy and what that meant to them and to everyone around them. Absolutely, it's a so. it, it's pretty much a, a psychology project. It's right. unbelievable. Yeah. So, um, I, like I said, it's only three trades, so I think it's definitely worth uh, checking out. It's it's. I would you say it's more of a graphic novel than yeah. a, an actual like comic book series? Sure. Yeah, it's just short. It's uh, it's not short. It's just um. Yeah, you would say it's short. Sure, it's sure. I'll say it's short because it's it kind of you know it's a complete story that you're not kind of waiting uh to be over. You you kind of get that um conclusion right now, so that's kind of good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so. I really enjoyed it. I spoiler alert or a hidden behind the scenes. I read all three trades the same night. And I couldn't stop. I had read the first two before mm. Andrew had even read it, and yeah. then uh, this bastard over here <laughs> finishes it before I actually did. Yeah. So. so the story is about. Thank you for uh, name calling. Uh, the story is about family. I would say grit. Um, and I love, I was so hooked from the beginning because there's a part where the dad, who I thought was the main character at the time, like goes down and is eating like potato salad at three o'clock in the morning. And then his wife comes down and starts yelling at him. Why are you eating the potato salad? Don't you know about your diet? And the guy's like, just get off me, woman. Let me eat the potato (laughs) salad. And I was like, I'm, I'm hooked. I love that. I was so happy when I read that. I was like, yes. Why is that, Andrew? Do you connect with him at all? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, um, so uh, see, we're bringing jokes back. We're 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 getting the comedy going. Yeah, this is this is good. We're this like is good. This is great. Stadler and Waldorf from uh, the Muppets. Know. Yeah. Oh, the Muppets. Yeah. yeah. I never watched the Muppets. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You always yell at me for that. Yeah, I know. So, um, let's wrap. We're gonna do shorter videos now. So I think Rhett and I let's just give our final opinions. I think. Um, Royal City, Gritty Town. It was Ed, absolutely. I, family dynamics. Two two thumbs up. Uh, that would be four thumbs total from the two of us. Or we could do one each. Or yeah, right there we go. That we we could do two that or four. Well. Yeah. Either way, it's a good good rating. Right, and <laughs> um, I think Jeff Lemire has a really specific uh, uh drawing style that yeah. is iconic. It's it's unbelievable so when you see his when you see his drawings you're like i know this is him right it's very raw you see the sketches it goes extremely well with Mm -hmm. this comic yeah i love the comic i i it it took me twice i think when i sat down i just wasn't ready to read it um the first time and Rhett kind of pestered me he goes hey you need to read this comic so um good good for you this is like a slam dunk for you yeah, uh, it, saying read this comic. To I, me. I I I am drawn to the more macabre stuff, so mm-hmm. this is definitely in my alley, in my ballpark, and I'm glad that I actually convinced Andrew <laughs> to read something that I you liked. did, and it was good, good. I liked it, so you guys should check it out. Uh, we highly encourage it, and please um, comment down below your own thoughts, and Rhett and I can interact with you guys too. Um, I want to hear what you thought of that thing I brought in the beginning with how the main character is perceived by the other characters. I think that was the most interesting part to me. And take a look at the uh, the radio frequencies and sound waves. There's mm-hmm. a, a, a theme in the comic about that as well, which it plays a, uh, is a huge part of... Uh, as all of the characters and the the just the comic in general, mm-hmm. which is really quite interesting and cool. So. Totally. I also connected with this comic because I love the movie Frequency, and I thought it just brought back memories of that movie, which I really enjoyed. No, nobody knows what the hell you're I, Dennis about. Dennis Quaid. De- yeah, it's like my man crush. Mid nineties. Love that guy. Um, Frequency is a great movie. You should check it out. Uh, <laughs> so again, we did Royal City. Loved it. You should check it out if you've already read it. Tell us about it. Message with us, message with us uh, on Instagram and YouTube. And thank you so much for checking out the video. And always, we always um, take recommendations for new series. We highly encourage. Yeah. It. yeah. So we're we both are pretty much comic noobs. So we enjoy you know finding out about new artists and new writers. And we got to this guy and Royal City because of that. So we really enjoyed it. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Th- thank you for. Uh 
for joining us. Yeah, and we will see you next time.